I'm Steve Jobs from Apple Computer. What a computer is to me is it's the most remarkable tool that we've ever come up with. We are delivering today the iPad, the new iMac, the iPod. The story of Steve Jobs and Apple stands as one of the most extraordinary accounts of corporate resurgence in history. Jobs, the co-founder and creative force behind Apple, faced an unexpected ousting by the company's board in 1985, only to make a triumphant return 11 years later. The board is unanimous. Steve will no longer be involved in this company. But the questions persist. What were the circumstances surrounding Steve Jobs' departure from the company he created? Established in a garage by Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak, Apple saw Jobs overseeing the business and creative aspects while Wozniak managed the engineering. The company rapidly achieved triumph by introducing groundbreaking computer products during the tenure of Jobs and Wozniak. Jobs harbored ambitions of assuming the role of CEO ultimately resulting in a significant dispute with the board. Among the concerns, one revolved around Jobs' purportedly harsh and domineering interpersonal style. He gained a reputation for exerting immense pressure on individuals and fostering a detrimental workplace atmosphere, even though his ingenuity and vision were instrumental in the company's development. In 1983, Jobs recruited John Scully, who held the position of CEO at PepsiCo, to join Apple. Tensions escalated between Jobs and Scully when the sales of two new products, the Lisa and the Macintosh, fell short of expectations. Jobs' exclusion from the Macintosh project further incited his anger, prompting him to directly voice his grievances to Apple's board of directors. Shortly after this ill-fated maneuver to assert corporate control, Jobs was promptly dismissed by the board of directors. Jobs proceeded to establish Next, a company specializing in the production of top-tier computers. In 1996, Apple ultimately acquired Next for $429 million, marking Jobs' return to the company he founded. I am the founder and CEO of Uber. The notorious bad boy of tech. It's a ride-sharing app, and it's exploded into a global force disrupting the entire transportation industry. People from every corner of the world have said yes to this kind of future. Perhaps the only thing faster than the rise of Uber was the fall of its founder. Kalanick was effectively compelled to step down from his role as CEO in 2017 after a series of scandals and negative public relations that persuaded investors of the necessity for a change in leadership. I had no idea that this was something that would happen. Uber's dominion started to disintegrate when a viral blog post authored by a former Uber engineer unveiled a network of harassment, deceit, and professional hindrance within the company. The company was exposed for engaging in activities such as requesting and then canceling rides from its rival, recruiting its drivers, and employing software to clandestinely monitor its own customers even when they had closed the Uber app. While embroiled in lengthy battles with local taxi authorities regarding the legality of its car service, Uber was found to have employed a tool named Grayball. This tool concealed the actual location of its vehicles and presented a false version of the app to city officials. Kalanick had frequent confrontations with regulators and ultimately Uber's investors determined that the company required a change in leadership. Subsequently, Kalanick was asked to step down. Twitter achieved rapid success, quickly spreading from one colleague to another, with each individual sharing it with their family and friends. Within its initial two years, Twitter garnered more than 6 million users actively sharing information through tweets. In 2006, Twitter was founded by Jack Dorsey, Evan Williams, Biz Stone, and Noah Glass, with Dorsey initially serving as the company's CEO. However, due to his perceived lack of communication with board members and the company's struggle to address frequent server crashes, Dorsey was ousted by Evan Williams in 2008. He later made a comeback to the company in 2015. 